Hi everybody, Paul Sewers Jr. here. Today is May 26th and Minecraft Beta 1.6 was just released and I'm going to take a look at the new stuff. I'm going to hop right in and we're going to look at maps, hatches, and tall grass and some kind of desert scrub. But right now I'm mostly interested in maps. I've been fooling around with them for about 30 minutes and I wanted to show you something pretty cool here. So let's hop into the game and get started. Alright, so I have not paid much attention to maps. Um, so I just jumped into the game. I've created a couple of maps here. And I'll show you how to do that. And as you can see, I went a wandering to test the maps. And lo and behold, I found Hidey Hole number one. So if you are familiar with my tutorial series, this was the very first day, How to Survive Your First Night. Tutorial number one. I spent the night here, and this is where it all began. The rest is history. Okay, first things first. As you can see, I've already created a couple of maps, and if you look up on the left-hand side, top left of the map, it shows you a map name. So it starts at map zero, and then goes up from there. I've actually created two other maps, and I threw them out. Um, because they were actually generated outside of the game in an inventory editor added to my inventory. and Although they worked, I just wanted to start fresh in the game. So let's go in here to Heidi Hole. And my old workbench is here. First workbench ever, well, in the tutorial series. So let's make a map. What you need is regular old paper in the crafting bench all around the edges. Take a compass, smack it down in the middle there, and you have a map. Now. It seems that maps are, well, it seems like maps are um, regional. So right now, this map is showing me where I am at this moment, map 5, and it's dead center. So I can fill this out, either I'm going to call that north. You know, it doesn't show the compass rows on here, but... Um, we're just going to assume that that is north and that is west and you can see my little guy here pointing and so forth. Now if you look back at the other maps you can see that although it's the center here it's on the lower section here and over here is to the right. So it depends on wherever you make the map it's going to stick you in the center and then because these maps are basically um, static for that one area so this is a one big giant square of land and when I fill this all out by walking around it once I get to the edge you essentially walk right off the edge and you're gone off this map and then you'll have to create a new map in that new area so when I walked off the edge of this one on the right hand side um, I had to create a new map and I made this one I think so that I could walk back anyway it's a little confusing but it'll all become clear here in a moment all right, let's walk over to my original spawn point on Tutorial World. I'm going to follow my compass and see how this, these maps update. So as I walk, you can see that the map is updating. Oh, here comes the rain. How do you do? And it's getting really dark. So let me shut off the rain. And I have a utility for that. Hold on one sec. Okay, I have... Shut off the rain with my godly powers of NBT edit. And that's the utility I use. And I will do a, a tutorial on that, people have asked. All right, let's follow this map toward my spawn point. Now let's take a look at this one and this one. All right, so they do update according to your location. If you bring up a map that hasn't been updated in a while, and it can update if it's in the right region, it'll catch up like that one. So what I'm going to do is walk over with this one up. And we'll head right over to my spawn. Hold on, I'm going to put the map down because I can't see. Now you can take the map out, and you can raise it up. And you can lower it so you can walk around a little bit, but it still obstructs your view just a tad. Just a tad. All right, I see the beacon over there where my original spawn point is. 
Map is updating nicely. Clay! Wait, is that clay? Alright, here's the coastline. Where I have beacons all the way over to the north. Where my... My settlement is. Cloud tower and cottage and rail and all that good stuff. So as you can see, the map is just updating as I walk getting closer to the edge of this particular region. Well, not that close, but all right, here is the spawn point right here. So, let's um all right, now let's take a look at let's switch maps and see how it catches up. That's map 4. Map 5 is really close to the edge. So, the whole idea is what you do is you make a map in an area and you can walk around and fill it out then you put that map away and you go to one of the edges and craft a new map where's all my sound craft a new map and then you'll have a whole series of maps for different regions see I'm at the edge of this one right now let's go back to spawn Update this map. Update that map. You can have up to something like 65,000 maps or something on a single world. All right, so let's um, now let's head back north and fill in this area in the center. We'll go right along the coastline because these are the known areas. Maybe we'll go look for Heidi Hole Number Two, which is somewhere in this in between one and my current settlement spot. Um, something else that you might want to do is take screenshots. So here I am standing right next to my spawn point. I'm going to bring up the map. I'm going to look straight north. So I'm pointing north and I'm going to take a screenshot of the map. So then what I'm going to do is in another program I'm going to circle these points of interest. So where I, where I am right now I'll mark that off as spawn point and then on the map where I know um, I have another screenshot with me standing, you know, the little white guy down there standing right in um, Heidi Hole number one. And I have a screenshot of that. And I'm going to do the same thing with Heidi Hole number two, which we're going to go find right now. I'm just going to run along the coastline. I know that this will eventually lead me to my cottage, but I'm going to have to go inland to find Heidi Hole number two. So I'm just going to keep updating all my maps as I walk in different regions. Because what will happen is if, I, if I'm here and I walk all the way to the north, let's say I walk to the very far north of this map, to the very tip of map number four, and then I switch to map five, I'll be so high on map five, it's, only going, it's not going to fill in the area between um, this point and the tip where I am. It's not going to do that. So you have to, it's only going to update where you're standing in the surrounding area on that map that you pull out at that time. So it's a good idea if you have multiple maps to just do this. I should probably create a map at um, spawn point. So I'll have a spawn point map as well, but I'll do that later. Clay! Okay, here is a beacon that I put here for other people that download the map. That says Heidi Hole number one. Beyond this pillar, near a waterfall. Okay, so if you walk straight back, you'll find number one. Number two, I kind of want to walk along the coastline here to update these maps. Number two, Heidi Hole number two is somewhere in there, inland, and I would like to go find that, but I want to map this coastline. <laughs> okay, funny thing happened on my way to uh, shelter number two. Um, first of all, I saw a wolf, a couple of wolves, and I wanted to get a wolf in my tutorial world, so I went out, went to my inventory editing tool, and added some bones. And while I did that, and then I started up the game again, eh, puppy, um, I downloaded a new update. So <laughs> there was a, another little bug fix, apparently. That's the second one since I started recording this thing. So Notch must be, everybody must be working pretty hard right now fixing other incidental bugs. Yeah, 
All right, yeah, hopping and rubbing your butt on the sand, I know. All right, so now it's getting dark. And let me just update the maps here. Now I've got two dogs. Awesome. I really did want to get some wolves. I have not seen any wolves in my tutorial world. So um, I wanted to grab them before I lost them. And I'm going to book it out right now and set it back to daytime. Be right back. All right, folks. Now remember, all of this editing is in the name of science so that I can make this tutorial or test drive, rather, more bearable. All right, let's go and follow. Oh, 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 okay. Here's my, here's my beach. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of my beach, of the map with me on the beach. So we're practically at the top, as you can see, it froze over <laughs> because it snowed here and it froze my beach. So no more swimming for me, unless I wear a wetsuit. Stop pushing. All right, so now let's stand here. This is usually my testing grounds. This is where I do a lot of my beta testing stuff. And let's take a screenshot on this map. Stop pushing, doggies. Hey, I, I only had two. Where did you come from? Oh, I followed him. Oh, wait, how did I get three? Did I tame three dogs or two? Oh... I must have tamed one. All right, I tamed an extra. I thought I was taming the same one, but I got an extra guy. Okay. So there's my screenshot. That'll show testing grounds. And I missed my shelter number two, which is right back that way. So I do want to get a screenshot of that. Okay, a quick screenshot of the entrance to my mine, which is right here. All right, and now a screenshot of standing on the front doorstep of Cloud Tower. Voila. I'll just grab one of each map. Oh, no. No. Now it's snowing. Oh, no. Well, no. no. Oh, no, you don't. I'll be right back. I'm cutting that right out. Uh -huh. No more snow. Okay, let me show you what happens when you walk off the edge of a map. Now, this map was created... Um, where did I craft this map? This map must have been crafted... Okay, this map was crafted right where the center of, of my cursor is right now, which was out in the water. I made this map when I searched. I went all the way out under that ice beyond the beach. I crafted the map out there. That was the center. I'm now on the very western edge. And I wanted to get a screenshot on a map next to my new cottage here and watch what happens as I continue walking west. I disappear off the map. So that, obviously, this map is no longer, it does not apply to this area. So it's no longer going to be updating in this direction. It's a different region now. So I'm off the region of this map. So map 4 does not go any farther than here. In which case, I would have to switch to one of my other maps and update one of those. All right, which I'm going to do. I'm going to go right here in front of my cottage and point to the north. And I'm off that map. This map's good. All right, and I'm going to take a screenshot with that one. I'm off that one. Take a screenshot of that one. Okay, good. What do you say, guys? Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next step. I want to go find hidey hole number two. Shelter number two. Which is down over there somewhere. Okay, before we go find shelter number two, my hidey hole number two, which is off in that direction, um, you may recognize this vista right here. This little valley, I stood here way back in tutorial number, I don't know, five, six, or seven, when I decided to move and relocate. Might have even been before that. And I stood right here, and I looked out, and I saw this 
beautiful untouched land and said, oh, I could build a little tower up on top of that hill. And I like this little waterfall here, natural little waterfall. I could build a hot tub. And I had big dreams. And I made the dreams come true. And uh, yeah, so go back and watch that episode. I don't remember which episode it is, but I will take a screenshot here for prosperity purposes. And my thought was when I stood here and saw this, I might put signs up like, you know, here's where tutorial episode number seven started or something like that. Just, I don't know, because it might be interesting. Put that in the comments if you think it is. All right, let's go find um, shelter number two, which is right between one and cloud tower so i know it's over in this direction and i left beacons when i decided to migrate and search for a place to live and build my home i think that's it right there those two beacons yep i had two beacons up on the roof so wow pretty close closer than i expected so i'm just gonna fill out my maps get over there and take a screeny of the map yep there it is that was hidey hole number two. Again, this goes way back to much earlier episodes. If you're familiar with the How to Survive and Thrive series anyway. If not, go back and watch. Of course, now I have to make some changes to some of them, like the farming. Um, seeds are, You can't get seeds from grass any longer with hoes. You've got to get it from tall grass. All right, there's hidey hole number two. And let's look at the map. So I'm going to stand right out here in front of it and take a screenshot of my map. That map, way far on the edge of that one, and that map. So there we go. So now I know where I, where I am on each one of these maps. I'm going to point out each location and post it up on a website or something. Um, and I think that would be kind of interesting to see where everything is and give people an easy way to find stuff when they download the map. All right, well, there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to know about maps, or at least as much as I know about maps. I know that you can share them with other people, and that'll be kind of the idea. So other people will go out and map areas out, and you can trade them. I think Notch is looking for or potentially going to um, make a way for you to stick them on walls as, as pictures and uh, maybe even do underground mapping. So I'm not really sure. But anyway, that is the test drive of the map system I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you don't mind, it certainly helps. All right, guys and gals, see you later. Thanks for watching.